Hello everybody and welcome back to the Paperless Movement YouTube channel. Today I want to share with you the moment when it really clicked. Paperless Movement, your productivity, your way. I was working in corporate as a business analyst for eight years, leading IT teams and implementing Asana for more than a thousand people. Don't get me wrong, Asana is a great project manager, even with all the restrictions that you have compared to ClickUp. It's like the Apple universe where you just get a set of features and people need to use it and there's not a lot that you can do wrong. However, we have decided to use ClickUp now for more than three years instead of Asana due to its flexibility and its database structure and the docs that you have in there. So to us, ClickUp is like Notion and Asana had a baby. So you get the Asana project management features and a lot more on top of what Asana has to provide. And you also get the docs and databases structures that you have in Notion and both combined in one tool. And this is the amazing thing and how you can leverage this combination. I will show you in this video. So let's dive in. All right, here we are in ClickUp in a task and here we are in the activity view. So this is the place where people can comment. And the beauty about this is that we have the slash command here as well that you might also know from Notion. And now I show you how I can just use my keyboard to enrich this comment and interconnect the whole ClickUp database that we have in there. Usually you used to just write some plain text. So this is a comment about something. And then I can say to add to in order to search for my tasks. And now I can say digital note taking with ClickUp. All right, that's another video I do. And boom, I do this. And this is not just linking back to the original task. When I click on this, I will go to the task. Now it shows you the preview. And now I could go here, change the priority. I can change the assignee. I can change the progress. So the amazing thing is that this is now a living comment. Whenever I come back into this comment and I realize, man, there's a task that is still not closed. Instead of going to the task and then I, I lose context, I can quickly go here and complete it because I know, man, this is already finished. This is already the first advantage. So now let's keep going. Please add this PDF file to the video. And then I hit slash file and by writing file it shows me attachment and this is again it realizes context i click here and now i can drop in a file let's just add this banner here and it adds now the image and there we go now we have the image here obviously you could also add pdf files let's add a magic slide from our ico mastery course and then I can even embed a list as a table board or list view. So let's add this as a table. So this is my YouTube video creation list. And there we go. Now I even embedded the whole list of tools in here. I can click there and I even can add videos there and then hit send. And now I have everything in context. See, it shows up the image. I can click on the image and now amazing. I can add comments to the image, say here, use different font, okay? And then I can assign this comment to the person who will change it. And then I say here, another one, too small, for example, right? Assign it again to the designer. In this case, I will just assign it to me so that I don't get confused. And then I can pin this as cover image and many other things. So the amazing thing now is you see here action items and click up 3.0. We have a tab here and it shows me the open comments. And the amazing thing is these are the comments that we added to the image. So when I click here, it goes directly to the image and shows me the relevant comments. This is really amazing. And this always keeps track of what we still have to do, no matter how long the comment list gets here. Here we have a video with the founder of MEM. So here we could now also add a comment and say, uh, cut this out, all right? And say, boom, cut this out. And you see, it uses even the timestamp. So if you see, it shows the comment here on the timestamp for the video. So this is really so useful. Make this bigger, whatever. And again, comment and boom, it uses a different timestamp. And now I can click there and I can click there. It jumps to the timestamp inside the video. And these are the implementations of really leveraging technology in the best way possible. So now you see, I added this here and then the video, but it added these comments below as well for convenience. And now I can click there and it opens up the video again the thing, and uh, shows me the comments there. 
And I think this is really amazing. That's something I haven't seen in this form, neither in Asana nor in Notion. And that's why we bet on ClickUp, because it just can become better with the full release of ClickUp 3.0. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let us know in the comments below if you like how we use this. Maybe there are other features that you know about ClickUp you want to share with us. And if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so I can catch you up next time.